Okay, so we had first light arcing between the two terminals of the Neon Sign Transformer using this makeshift Jacob ladder and it worked. It was great, it was all an awesome spark and we know it works. But there was a problem. We blew the step down transformer. See, this is American and obviously we have the English uh, power, so we use a step down transformer to convert it to the right voltage. But uh, the wattage of this is 95 and the wattage of the step down was only 45, so it got too hot and books burn out. So we've just ordered a new one that has uh, 300 watts, so once we get that in a few days, everything will be ready to start going again. So just a mind setback basically. That's what they. Okay people, it's time. Today's the day. All the tests have been done. The test coil is fully assembled and it's finally ready for its first test run. Everything is in place and in just a few minutes we'll turn it on for the first time. It's not completely dark yet, it's only nearly half nine. When it becomes dark we'll do another test as well. It'll be amazing at night. But first of all, I'm just going to do a quick video explaining how a Tesla coil actually works. So I'm sure some of you out there are just watching this because it's my video. So I'm just going to explain to you how a Tesla coil actually works and how this system can create sparks and create lightning this long from here. It all starts here. The main power from the house comes through this extension lead to this step down transformer that puts the voltage down to an American voltage because the transformer we're using is American. This is then plugged in and the transformer has power. This is the high voltage power source, a neon sign transformer. It steps the voltage up from 120 volts to 6000 volts. It, does, it is also grounded here. To, to the ground rod. The output over here goes past the safety gap to protect the transformer from any EMS feedback. It then runs in parallel to the capacitor bank. They're one and a quarter thousand volts each. I can't remember which UF. Got it somewhere on my no, mathematics sheet. But uh, parallel to the capacitor bank, that changes it to a pulsating arc. Then one line comes off from this to the, to the spark gap, which is simply an air-cooled voltage-controlled switch. Inside there are two terminals that are close, and because this is so powerful, it creates a spark between them. That gives time for the capacitor bank to charge up. This control box and CPU fans allow the ozone and gases that are created to be vented and to create a pressure difference that will help perform the, help the spark perform better. One wire from this, the other terminal, and the second wire from the capacitor bank, then run up to here, the primary coil. It is five terms long. I should have really made it six, six or seven, as the maths tells me to. So it won't operate 100% capacity, but it'll still be very good. The primary coil is just simply a metal coil that's exposed. This Tesla coil also has no safety rail, as you've probably seen. The power just comes in, coils around, and exit here. That is the primary circuit. Now we move on to the, sec the secondary circuit. This is the secondary coil. Don't ask me how many turns, I can't remember, and it took too long, so I probably forgot. 
This is the main secondary coil of 23 gauge magnet wire. And at the top we have finally the top load, which is a toroidal torus or toroid that is simply made out of dry duct and pie plates. This is the discharge terminal. That's where the top of the secondary meets. The bottom of the secondary, which comes out over here, over here, just simply goes down to this part, which is what we call the grounding bolt. Here, all the parts that need to be grounded, which is the neon sign transformer, the safety gap, and the bottom of the secondary, all come to join to one place, where it's then vented down this grounding wire to the grounding rod properly secured we have over there. Those are all the components. When it's turned on, the power will come in, charge the bank, create a spark, and then this will create massive sparks out the top. How is this done, you may ask? Pretty simple, actually. Here's a diagram of Dawn drawn to explain it. Here you can see the neon sign transformer, safety gap, capacitor bank, voltage controlled switch, the spark gap, primary coil, and air cord secondary coil. The most interesting thing to note is that the secondary coil and the whole secondary circuit is not electrically connected to the primary circuit. So how does this go from six kilovolts to a quarter of a million volts simply through air? That's how a Tesla coil works. It wirelessly transmits the power from the primary circuit to the secondary circuit and in doing so creates massive voltage increases. The power comes in, the capacitor bank is used to turn it into a proper pulsating arc that arcs through the, safe, the spark gap. The spark gap acts, uh, gives time for the capacitor bank to fill up because it takes a while. It takes, well we can't see it, but it takes a fraction of a second to cross that gives time for the capacitors to charge up. The safety gap is an essential part, that's just to keep it safe. This is where the magic happens. The capacitors charge and discharge really, really fast, and in doing so, creates an electromagnetic field. But because they're charging and dis because they discharge, they've got nothing to maintain the field, so the field collapses, thus charging back up the capacitors. And this happens a million times a second. This pulsating electromagnetic field sends wirelessly electricity to the secondary coil, and as it does so, builds up much more voltage. The power is sent wirelessly to here and it creates a wave that makes the power rocket up the secondary till it stops at the top load because it's a capacitor. The top load acts as a capacitor, ground being one plate, top plate being the toroid and air being the dielectric. And it can't go anywhere because it's a capacitor. That's, a, that's why you need a top load basically. But once it gets to the top it knows that there's ground at the bottom so it goes back down. By the time it gets to the bottom, the second pulse from the primary comes, pulsating it back up, along with another pulse. And once so, comes down, another pulse. Constantly, a million times a second it does that, until it's got so much voltage, can't go out the ground, because as, as soon as it tries to get there, another pulse from the primary pushes it back up, building up more voltage, until the voltage is just too high, and it discharges in massive sparks out the top of the primary, on the top load. Now I know that's a lot to take in and it's very complicated if you're new to electricity but you don't need to know really how it works, you can just watch because it's really cool. My, might I also tell you that this is only a 6 kilovolt. That's basically the smallest you can get for a, trans for a uh, Tesla coil and this is going to be massive, well pretty big. You can get bigger ones, you can get even 15 kilovolts. So this is my first proper Tesla coil, I made a proof of concept one, as you can see on my channel. But here we go, that's how it works, those are the components, and in a few minutes we will test it proper. Okay people, we have first light, the Tesla coil is working. At first it didn't work and there was no discharge from the terminal but we fiddled around with it and we found out that there needs to be a near ground source so basically a wire that's grounded close to it in order for the discharge to work. We obviously didn't know this because at first we thought it should discharge uh, on its own. 
Now, this is because it's not properly tuned. So we need to properly tune it by adding more coils to the primary and adding two or three more capacitors and basically tuning it up, which should allow the sparks to jump freely out of the top load on their own. But we will show you what we've done so far and that it does work. The concept is working, basically. So that's the fan with the spark gap. Which is now working. Fence the ozone. Okay. Grounds are connected, everything's connected. connected. Step right. down's in. So, should we turn it on first and then we're going to.